$1.5 billion in a Ponzi scheme. Well, when many people think of Islam, they think of a peace-loving religion. For others, it reminds them of terrorists who vowed to destroy America. Now, some Broward County buses promoting the religion, and that has one man calling Help Me Howard with Patrick Frazier. The county buses roll by you all the time with their big ads for the lottery, lawyers, and furniture stores. Advertisement for Islam. But have you seen these king-sized ads encouraging people to learn about the Islamic religion by calling this number or going to this website? Which blew my mind. When Bruce Pontner saw the ads, he was irritated. I demand the removal of the Islamic advertising from all county buses. Pontner is Jewish, but he says his religion has nothing to do with this religious ad. The separation of church and state thing, I think that still exists. What if the... A temple wanted to put an ad on. I would feel the same way. I would feel the same way if it was a church. The ads are on 120 county buses in Dade and Broward. An organization called CARE, or Council on American and Islamic Relations, paid $60,000 for the ads to run until the beginning of February. Fontner says the Muslims can advertise all they want, but not on taxpayer funded buses. If that message is peaceful, and they should be spreading it, but not on county buses, not on taxpayer buses. Well, are ads to educate Americans about Islam, paid for by Muslims, legal on county property? Howard? Bruce is right in that this is a First Amendment issue. But while we do have separation of church and state, the First Amendment also guarantees free speech. And therefore, these ads are protected by the Constitution. Especially promoting a terrorist religion. But Potner believes the ads are more than just a legal issue. He's convinced they are a recruiting tool. They're trying to gain more terrorists. They're, they're trying to build their uh, army up against us. <laughs> you know, that is, that's a joke of a century. <laughs> the belief that he's recruiting terrorists makes Altaf Ali laugh. But correcting it, he says, is exactly why his group put out the ads. We are the ones who are the majority, the peaceful loving Muslims. The moderate Muslims are the majority. The ones that, that, who are extremists, who commit acts of terror, are a small element within Islam. Ali says his group has been getting 25 calls a day about the ads. Most are positive. And he's also been able to answer the question most often asked. Why don't the vast majority of law-abiding Muslims condemn the terrorists who give the entire religion a bad name? We always hear this question. Why don't the moderate Muslims speak out? So here is our chance of speaking out and saying, call us and we will tell you the real truth about Islam and Muslims. Ali is happy the signs have spread the word, okay. but Pontner still argues they're religious signs and should go. Is he out of luck, Howard? Actually, no. County commissioners can control the ads that are allowed. They can't pick and choose which religions to allow, but they could ban all religious ads. If that's what you want to happen, contact your county commissioner. And some county commissioners are being contacted about banning religious ads on county buses. A couple of counties in Florida have done that, but critics say, wait, you block all religions from advertising because of the fear of one religion. I think this is why my father told me never to discuss religion and politics with people. Devoutly determined to eliminate a cross you bear? Don't lose the faith, contact us. When people say we don't have a prayer of solving their problem, we listen to them, then we get to work. Well, this helped me hard, I'm Patrick Frazier. Seven News. Are you going to find this one hard to believe?